Al-Andalus was a Muslim-controlled area of the Iberian Peninsula. The term is used by historians for the previous Islamic states in what is now modern Spain and Portugal. Islamic Spain was an immensely fertile ground for learning, producing a long series of intellectual, aesthetic, and scientific advances attributable to Muslim, Christian, and Jewish thinkers and the atmosphere they created. What distinguished Al-Andalus the most unlike Christian states of Europe is that minority faiths enjoyed a degree of toleration. Christian, Jews, and followers of ancient religion were able to continue following their faith alongside Muslims. Many prominent scientists, artists, and philosophers started moving to Al-Andalus too as Jewish thought in Babylonia decreased. Prominent poets like Judah Halevi and Dunash Labrat are two prominent moves who did this. In medicine, Al-Andalus produced scholars like Al-Zahrawi, who wrote about surgery, pharmacology, medical ethics, and the doctor-patient relationship. Ibn Zuhr, referred to in the West as Avan Zuar, was an advocate of clinical research and practical experimentation. Muslim Conquest and Rule Muslim armies first arrived in the Iberian Peninsula in 711 AD at the request of one of the sides of the civil war happening in Visigothic Spain. Muslim rule was accepted by many Spaniards due to the persecution of the church in what is known as the Catholic Church Dark Age in Europe, and many of them accepted Islam. An army led by Tariq ibn Ziyad, mainly consisting of Amazil from North Africa, disembarked in 711 to Gibraltar. After defeating King Roderick at the Battle of Guadalete, considered one of the worst defeats for the Visigothic. Tariq was later reinforced by an Arab force by his wali, Musa ibn Nusayr, and they continued northward with their armies, defeating all resistance on the way. In 714, Musa ibn Nusayr and his army headed northwest up the Ebro River to overrun the western Basque regions and the Cantabrian mountains all the way to Galatia, and there was no opposition whatsoever. Many argue that this could either be because of previous hearsay of how strong Muslim armies were in previous battles and of minorities wanting to get rid of Visigothic rule. Arab governor Abdul Aziz ibn Musa's army was able to surround all urban centers of Catalonia and the Visigothic army surrendered. Later on in 716, his father, Musa ibn Nusayr, advanced and captured Soria completely. The western Basque region, Palencia, and as far as west as Gijon or Leon. By 717, the combined Arab Amazigh force were able to cross Pyrenees into Septimania and occupied further territory in Gaul in 759. At this time, Umayyad troops reached Pamplona in the Basque town submitted after a compromise was brokered with Arab commanders to respect the town and its inhabitants, a practice that was common in many towns of the Iberian Peninsula. The Umayyad troops met little resistance. Al-Andalus was mainly ruled by the Umayyad caliphs until 750, when the Abbasid dynasty rose to power in the east. An Umayyad prince, Abdurrahman ibn Muawiyah, fled to the Andalus, in 756. The Andalusian rulers, sovereign politically, continued to consider the Abbasid caliphs as the ultimate religious authority for 200 years. But starting the eighth rule of the dynasty, Abdurrahman al Nasir claimed the capital little for himself and his in 929. The Andalusian Umayyad Caliphate was considered to be the golden age of Al Andalus in terms of political power. The southern area of the Iberian Peninsula were united under the Caliph in Cordoba, 
and he was also an important player in North African affairs. Between 1009 and 1031, a series of uprisings and a succession of weak rulers led to the collapse of the Umayyad state. Weakened by chronic infighting, treason, and weak rulers, the Taifa king started losing considerable territory to the Christian kingdoms that started taking advance of the infighting happening. By 1085, the Castilians were able to take over the city of Toledo and the new Almoravid ruler in Morocco, Yusuf ibn Tashufin, was asked to intervene. The Almoravids were a puritanical dynasty that started among the Amazil in southern Morocco. And for a while, they did agree to assist the Taifa kings militarily. But in 1090, Yusuf withdrew his forces. Many historians believe that another reason is that they succumbed to the luxury of Al-Andalus. The Almoravids' weakening strength gave the Christian kingdom an easy chance for a conquest. And by the 1145, Almoravid Spain was weakening. Balance between hostile Christian armies to the north and rival Muslim forces in Morocco, Granada was able to survive for two more centuries. The Muslim population and many minorities, mainly worried about going back to previous persecution, ask the Almohads, another movement from southern Morocco, to intervene and help them. The Almohads agreed and for a time enjoyed some success in Spain. The tide, however, started turning in 1212 at the Battle of Al-Iqab, where the Almohads were retreated back to the Gibraltar Strait. Muslim cities fell one after another until 1260, when only the Granada Kingdom remained. Although they slowly ceded territory to the Spanish Crusader forces, the Nasrid rules of Granada at the time refused to turn in any Muslims or minorities in their deals, and continued resisting as much as they can even when they were isolated politically. Historian John Brooks notes, despite the general winding down of the organized political and military state during the last period of Muslim rule in Spain, this strikingly rich and original culture was still evolving, which shows how much they refused to give up in every aspect, not only militarily. By the end of 1491, the Crusaders' army led by Ferdinand and Isabella were able to advance until Granada's acts. Granada's new ruler at the time, Muhammad XI Abu Abdullah, agreed to hand over the city to the Crusaders in return for Muslims and minorities safe passage out of Spain. On January 2, 1492, the Muslim rule of Spain ended. In 1499, the Catholic monarch's agreements were broken and started the forced conversion of Muslims was introduced. The Muslim population started rebelling and refused the new restrictions placed on them, but the revolt was quickly suppressed. In 1500s, realizing the persecution attempts don't have any effect, Spanish Muslims were presented with a difficult choice, convert to Christianity or be expelled from Spain. The majority refused and chose exile, returning to Morocco or other Muslim countries in North Africa. Even though Muslim rule in Spain officially came to an end, the rich cultural legacy of Al-Andalus continues to survive until today, both in Spain and throughout the world. Elements of Islamic architectural and cultural heritage are still found throughout Spain. And in recent years, Spain has become prouder of the contributions of Muslims in this period of history. Many attraction names like those of the port city, of Algeciras from Algeciras al-Khadra, the Green Island, the Guadalquivir River from Al-Wadi al-Kabir, the Great River, and the southern region of Andalusia itself, all come from the Arabic language that was used in Al-Andalus back then. Some of Spain's famous architectural monuments that are visited by millions of tourists every year are from this era. 
This includes Cordoba's Great Mosque, Seville's Giralda, Granada's Alhambra, and the royal residence of Seville, and the Alcazar. Despite the passage of more than 500 years, Al-Andalus continues to cast its spell in the world as the birthplace of some of the world's outstanding scholars, artisans, and credible architectural masterpieces, and setting of a successful tolerant society, notable for both the height of its achievement and the depth of its fall. Al-Andalus still remains its privileged place in the Muslim's memory and both the contributions and resistance of Muslims there will forever be remembered. Learn about the greatest men to walk the earth, the prophets of Islam, peace be upon them, and witness their extraordinary lives through the only channel dedicated to their lives. Subscribe now to the Prophet's Live Series channel. Link in the description below.